So I've got a CSV file here that is the location of polling places in the city of Philadelphia, which I actually got from the city of Philadelphia's GitHub account. It's a CSV file that you can download. And the one thing I've added is this uh, ID field here, underscore ID, just as a unique identifier for each location, something that CouchDB uh, wants very badly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a utility called CSV JSON, and I'm going to turn this CSV file into JSON. Voila, we now have a, an array of objects uh, that is in nice, clean JSON. And I want to take that, I want to put it in CouchDB so that I can have a REST API. Before I can do that, I need to amend the structure just a little bit for CouchDB. And and now I'm going to finish doing this, and then I'll explain what exactly it is that I was doing. So I needed to change the structure to, um, to meet CouchDB's requirements. It's actually really simple, and it's probably a much more elegant way of doing it. But I need to take that array of objects and assign it as the value of a doc property. So now that we've done that, let's first, I've got, uh, just to let you know, I've got CouchDB running locally. It takes about 60 seconds or so to install on your Mac or Linux machine. And I'm going to create a database by using the HTTP, HTTP put method. And I will very elegantly call it pulling locations are creative. And now I've done that. So now what I want to do is I actually want, um, I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to use the post method. And I'm going to use it on a special endpoint called bulk docs that lets me actually uh, insert lots of documents at once. Whoops. There we go. I want to make sure and tell it that I'm giving it JSON. And then I'm actually going to use the, uh, the content of that file that I just created. So I'm posting to this bulk docs endpoint. I'm sending some JSON and I'm telling it then I'm going to give it JSON. And that didn't work. Ah, I can see the problem there. I made a quick mistake. Should be the docs property, not doc. So now, Boom, it actually looked like it worked. So what we can do now, is if we look at our polling locations database, we can see, look, we've got 49 documents in there. Uh, and what this will let me do is it will let me use another HTTP method. I don't actually have to specify that I'm using get here because get is the default method. I can actually query based on the ID of um, a record. So what you'll see, if we give this another couple of instructions here, is we have nice JSON that looks like that. In fact, if we take this URL and put it in our web browser, it'll look even cooler. You can see nice JSON. So what we started out with was a CSV file that looked like this. And now we've got a um, very nice um, set of um, JSON documents in this REST API that we can query 